Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown. Others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Deep breaths. You're gonna wanna take it easy. I've been taking it easy for 600 years. Ryder, Scott, Recon Specialist, Pathfinder Mission Team. Pathfinder Team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean, summer year-round? How about we get him a cup of coffee first? process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. Scott Ryder, let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda. Our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Even if it isn't, we'll be ready. I hope so. You know something. Word came down. The Pathfinder wants you all mission ready within the hour. Look this way. Why the rush? He didn't say. But something's up. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? The 
I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we pack more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Sure, sensors are scrambled, but it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get. Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Sarah Ryder. What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Well, it looks like some sort of power surge hit the stasis pod. Are they okay? Scott. Is my sister okay? Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong. But the revival procedure was interrupted. I don't like the sound of that. Don't worry. It just means the process could take a bit longer than usual. Sam? My connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door, whenever you're ready to go. How do you want to handle this? Keep them in the pod for now. Round the clock monitoring. We don't know if they're in truth. Still in stasis. Vitals look good. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. Makes two of us. Hang in there. Enjoy your nap, Ryder? Don't think I'll need sleep for the rest of my life. Maybe another decade or two wouldn't have hurt. <laughs> right. Talk to you later. Gravity loss means something tripped the generators. 
Like what? Morning, Ryder. Or afternoon? Or... I don't know. This is the broken. Tell you. Suit up and get ready to go. Good to see you, Ryder. <sighs> uh, sorry, still waiting for some coffee. Damage from a temperature spike. Found it! Bad relay. Ryder, can you go reset it? There! It's reset! Good job, Ryder. Now we can get to the tram. You all close? Barely in Andromeda, and we're already scrambling. Let me take a look. The adventure begins. Not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. Come control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other Arcs, we proceed to our appointed Golden World. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My god. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. We don't know how bad it is yet. Still seems like it's our best shot. Maybe. There's just a lot on the line. Sam? The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are unknown.
We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? He cares in his own way. Enough to give him a chance. I suppose you're right. He is our Pathfinder. If this doesn't work out, we'll need him more than ever. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. My sister's gonna hate that she missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. Couldn't wait to get started. Well, don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's gonna want stories. So, let's get out there and find her some. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. Got it. That should do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. We expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. Good luck, Rock, huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. It caught him from falling. The way things are going today, we'll need any luck we can get. Yeah. Analysis indicates alkali feldspar and quartz, commonly known as granite. Better not. No bathroom breaks on this trip. Hang in there, Sarah. Harper and Ryder, to the hangar. Looks like Dad's already suited up. Ryder? Hey, Fisher, how's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. She wasn't thrilled with the idea of the expedition, but my dad won her over. I heard you weren't a big fan of it either. It's her ship, her call. You got guts going against the old man. The way I see it, Pathfinder team answers to the Pathfinder. Besides, your dad's the N7 here. He's got the best aim. I go wherever he goes. Okay, I got it. Tourism. What? Hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah, I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. Your dad say anything about what's going on? Looks like we're already home. That's a relief. With everything that's been happening, I wasn't sure. Guess I can unpack my luggage. I get dibs on any islands we find. See you guys in the ride down. How's that for dead reckoning? We had the bullseye on our first try. The Vincent Habitat 7 is departure from the
Hope I won't need this. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttles. This is the captain. I still need an update on our sensor array. <laughs> so just another boring day at the office, huh? I figure it's a chance to show everyone what we can do. Go out there and earn our stripes. You're Alex Sen, all right. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. Never know. Let's keep an eye out. And our distance. <laughs> On that note, time to get to the shuttle. This is the captain. I still need an update on our sensor array. Please report in as soon as possible. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand, and if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step? I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent given the situation. We'll be short-handed with Sarah out. I heard what happened. Your sister's strong. She'll make it. We bet on whose boots would hit the ground first. This isn't how I wanted to win. <laughs> Well, knowing Sarah, she'll want to go double or nothing on who climbs the tallest mountain. Don't let it get you down. I need you sharp. I understand. Your mom would have been proud. Of both of you. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up, that we kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Been waiting 600 years for this. Stop the Hyperion in its tracks. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, steer clear of it. Gravity anomalies detected.
Here we go. The flight guidance is scrambled. It'll pass. The controls are fighting me. Adjust to perch vector. Three degrees to stop. We're through. Holy. Shuttle 2, are you seeing this? Copy that. Doesn't look like a golden world from here. Ionization levels are rising. Stay on course to the landing zone. Oxygen levels are below minimum human requirements. Is this the right planet? We had this all worked out. Keep it tight, Shuttle 2. Uh, the mountains are floating. Look, port side. That has to be advanced engineering. Hyperion, this is the Pathfinder. We've got evidence of an alien civilization. Has anyone seen us? What if they're not friendly? We stick to contact protocol. No use of deadly force unless hostile intent is clear. Ryder, come in. Hyperion, Sam, anyone there? Save your breath, Ryder. Sam's offline, Comlink's trashed. I'm surprised we aren't too. Did the others make it? I don't know. It was all a blur. Shuttle split in two. This is like some nightmare. Yeah. No way this is home. Looks like we're gonna find some high ground. See if anyone else is alive. Come on. Ryder, how's your survival training? I've seen my share of troubles. Nothing crazy, but... Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra Incognita. Some of these plants look like tentacles. Is the water here even water? Those structures we saw on the way in? Who could survive in a place like this? Not sure we want to find out. Storms here don't seem natural. There's our comm device. No fixing this. Must have broken on impact. Explains why we lost our SAM connection. Oh, 
And safety tip, don't breathe the air. Found that out the hard way. Got it. I think that energy cloud we saw could cause all this. Sam said it's dark energy, but that's in space. Yeah, hell of a cloud. A cloud that makes boulders float. Uh, what the hell is this? Come on, we gotta get through it. This is crazy! Welcome to Habitat 7! Keep moving! Ah! Damn it! Shit, that hard! Watch it! Looks safer under there! Is this for real? What the hell is going on with this place? Planet's trying to murder us? Look, something flying around in the sky. Oh, wow. Here be dragons. Cora will love it. Find high ground. Come on. Not sure we want to be the tallest thing around here. I think I can see a path up. We'll use the jump jets if we have to. Into the breach. Think I'd rather fall than get hit by lightning. Give it a minute. We can probably do both. More glowing mushrooms. Are they making that noise? No. Detecting a lot of energy. Can't make heads or tails of it, but it's powerful. How'd my dad find you? I was a cop. Then crisis response. Yeah? Tell you over a beer sometime. Mind making some room? <laughs> Thanks. What the hell is that? It's not a hotel, that's for sure. Nothing around here makes any sense. New galaxy, new ways to die. Just not today. Ryder, it's Fisher. Wait. Look. Just be ready if this goes south. It usually does. Just 
Say the word and I go hot. They haven't spotted us yet. No, I am sure. I'm hurt. He sees us. <laughs> we can't understand you. Give us our man, or this gets ugly. Can you? Don't shot. Okay. It's over. Fisher, you okay? I'll live. I thought I was a goner. I knew they weren't a friendly sword. We did our best. Not like they gave us much of a choice. They didn't. So we reload and put it behind us. We still don't even know what they wanted. Nothing good the way they were armed. This isn't how first contact was supposed to go. Or at least not how I imagined it. That's on them. Can't let it change us. Next time might go better. Yeah, the whole neighborhood can't be bad. Where are the others? Gone. Kirkland and Greer went looking for help. Come on. Ah, my leg! Can you move? I think it's broken. You guys push ahead and look for the others. You sure? Yeah. Just find us a ride out of here. And take a few more of them out while you're at it. Whoa. Take a look at these bodies. What are these things? I hope the other team's okay. We'll find them, but we might want to scout around first. You're the recon specialist, pointing the way. <laughs> right. Looks like you knew how to handle the gun back there. Spent time with an Alliance peacekeeping force. Well, I don't have Sam here, but I can try to make sense of it. They're DNA-based, and their armor reads as some kind of bone. But the genetics are all over the map. Ah, I guess life took a different turn here, huh? Gear from one of our shuttles. Good. The atmospheric sensor is still working. Let me guess. It says don't breathe the air? Yeah, but no sign of industrial pollutants. That's not what killed this place. And no radioactive isotopes either. So nobody nukes the place. I can't believe we're doing this. 
Did Captain make it? No vital signs. Just shot him in cold blood. He was trying to surrender. Why kill him? Would we treat them any different if they showed up on Earth, armed to the teeth? Uh, maybe not. Peace isn't going to be an option here. We'll come back for his body once we find the others. Hope Greer's still alive somewhere. Still, take a look at this architecture. This is really something. Never seen anything. Okay, now this is weird. Even with these readings, I have no idea what it does. <laughs> Just imagine the mind that invented it. If that's even possible. Evolution separated from ours by two million light years. Spooky when you put it that way. Flare's going up over there. Could be our people. I'll mark the nav point. <laughs> Shit! You hear that? I wish I didn't. Okay, it's dead. Whatever it was, how'd it cloak like that? Half of our shuttle. What a mess. I can't believe we survived this. We're not off planet yet. Shit, we're holding on our perimeter. It's an ambush. Oh, hell, they got the jump on us. Careful, they got one of those animals. Watch for cloaking. Us for them! They forced this! Trying to surround us! There! We got them all! <laughs> oh, you're pretty good at this, Ryder. I fought off the occasional raider or two in my day. I used to guard a Mass Effect relay. Wish we'd had one for the Orcs. Maybe we should see if there's anything else useful here. Ah. 
flight recorder here. Little structure up that hill. This place is taking a beating from the storms, along with everything else on this planet. Maybe a lightning rod of some kind. No idea how to get it working though. Well, let's hope no one's home. Doesn't look like a home at all. Yeah, no one's living here. So what's it for? Doesn't look like the other structures we've seen. Different design. Must be a way to get some lights on. Let's call it a weird alien machine. We sure could use Sam right about now. Huh. What's all this about? Just those aliens. Wonder what he's saying. Kill old humans, probably. No power. You guessed it. Another weird alien machine. Huh, I think only one way to find out. You mean turn it on? That can't be good. Oh, so the weird alien machine is a generator. Yeah, sure, why wouldn't it be? Maybe it did something. That door open. Some kind of... 
research lab? Maybe. Then it got hit by a tornado. out so well. Some serious... Whatever this is, it scans as being old. Centuries old. Wish we had Sam. I think it's older than this lab and the equipment. His wounds look like they're from an energy blast. Uh, watch it! There! So now killer robots too? Huh. <laughs> the guests back home would love this place. Any theories, recon specialist? There's some kind of technology on this planet. Older. Underground. Something these aliens are interested in. Like archaeologists? Yeah. Bloodthirsty archaeologists. <laughs> 